On the pages of the Labadi Beach Hotels and other matters arising. Um, let me use this opportunity to give a little um, information, throw a little light on what is going on and what is currently um, on the table for us to discuss. You see, from the get-go, I have made mention that all Ablakwa thought to do is to distort, is to cause a lot of noise, is to run the emotions of Ghanaians high, to divert their attention from issues-based politics to mere gimmick, mere propaganda. If you look at this Senate thing, I took my time to read through. I, I have a document, if you are interested, I can send it to you, which Senate compiled, where they said they started the whole process in 2018. And they had good reasons for doing so. Now, when they opened the international, uh, because it was an internationally uh, done, where international bodies also um, expressed interest. And after they did the, the, the um, bidding, six companies came up. We have um, Rock City, we had another local firm called Yao Addo Development and Co. A host of them, there were six. And out of these six, there were also six hotels that they wanted to sell. Now they decided to put these hotels into lots. What they did was that each lot contained two hotels. Now you realize from their report that Mr. Brian was the only, or should I? Let me not say Mr. Brian. Let me disassociate him from it because it was Rock City. Okay? Rock City was the only company that had the highest bid to the extent that they were even bidding with a margin of more than 10 million US dollars on the pages of these hotels. If you look at the amount that the other... Uh, People, those who expressed interest, their companies, the money they were given for these hotels, you realize that so far Mr. Brian is the only, no, Rock City was the only company that made or gave good money to the excess, as I indicated earlier, of 10 million US dollars. And that is why they came tops. That is why they were the preferred company. It wasn't based on merit. It wasn't based on the fact that Mr. Bryan has something to do with Rock City. It was based on the fact that he was the highest bidder and the margin was huge. How many US dollars is a lot of money. Now, I took the pain to find out why they decided to sell these hotels. And I realized that they took their time and did a 14 years, uh, what do you call it, um, to find out so far how they are faring. And they realize that La Palm Beach Hotel, for the past 14 years, has only made profits in three years. And even with the profit, they are not able to pay any dividends to Senate. Then I went to Elmina. I realized that Elmina, out of the, nine, uh, the 14 years, they investigated. They realized that they had losses in nine years out of the 14 years. And even with that, they were not able to pay dividends to Senet. Buzia Resort, out of the 14 years, they also made nine years losses without paying any dividends. Now, Royal Ridge Hotel also had eight years of running losses, not paying anything to Senate. And out of all these, they have even gone ahead to borrow over 200 million from Senate to run these companies. And so far, not a dime has been paid in the form of dividend to Senate. Let's not forget that Senate contributors are Ghanaians. Myself, I'm seated here, 
I pay my SNED, uh, what do you call it, the uh, dues, or uh, I, I'm part of SNED. One day, if God uh, allows and I go on, uh, what do you call it, uh, retirement, I will be going to SNED to take my whatever that is to me. Now, if I pay these monies every month, and SNED is investing into a hotel that is not giving anything in return, then it means that indirectly, the interest that I would have accrued is also not anything to go to, 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 to write home about. My investments are going down the drain. The over 200 million Ghana cities that was invested in SNET has not been paid yet. It is still in arrears. And so, if these state institutions are running at a loss, and Rock City is saying that I will come in and take 60% of the shares or stake of these hotels and run it alongside. One thing we should understand is that if they make any gains, Senate contributors will still gain because they have 40% in shares. There's a win-win situation here. And so... If you are seeing, as you were trying to portray or put earlier, that maybe in terms of management, the people that are managing, who are ordinary Ghanaians like myself here, are not running the place well. And probably Mr. Bryan thinks that one or two things can be done to ensure that the place is well run. Yes, if he goes there and he puts in that effort, SNIT contributors still have 40%. Of shares. And maybe we should be, as Ghanaians, we should use this opportunity to talk to ourselves, to be careful with the way we handle state properties, state resources as Ghanaians, the way we handle them. We should pay close attention. I can tell you for a fact that if it were to be a, a foreign company that was coming, because some time back, I re from my research, I realized that some time back, SNIT privatized uh, some of their uh, properties with international bodies, but they didn't see anything and they left. Now they are doing it again. So if in some time past they did see and didn't see anything, and the investors left, and now SNIT is saying that let's look for another private person. And this private person happens to be Rock City. So what a, is so, the problem? So you see, so if, you, if so, you if you so, observe Sabita, the whole thing critically, so you realize Sabita, you sitting here as a Ghanaian, are you not worried? I am worried. You are not worried that you are even Snit failed to give us reasons that led us to where we are today as the as the properties that they are giving away to, for sale. What's led us into that area in the you first know, place? So far, Snit has Must not Snit always Snit stand up and get up and sell for their inability to manage properties? Must they always take us there? I mean, if a private person can come up and say, I can do it, private, and a whole government machinery or state machinery cannot manage a company, then, then why are we? Are, are you not worried that we... Because, and that is where the conflict of interest arises, where people are not even appreciating the concept. If we say that it's okay for businessmen to go into government state purchases, right, and there's nothing wrong with it, do you know what's going to happen in this country? Yeah. The state will end up owning nothing because Annie. there is no legal... Uh, um, framework that controls, that determines, that will tell you whether or not you have the right to purchase or not. And now, it's the lot of the argument is based on morality, mm -hmm. you, you, lot of it. But of course, there are also some other legal uh, um, 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 provisions that have been raised by Honorable Ablakwa, and I'm sure Shraj will determine all that. Are you not worried? Because, like I said. I am, I am, a, I am a, a member of a I, political party that's in government. I am worried. I have expertise. I see that in the area of my expertise, something is going wrong. 
I can pitch to government. Oh, Nanado, I, I, I think I can support or help you in this area because something is happening here. And maybe Nanado says, no, okay, then I'll buy it and do it. Is that, is that what's happening? <laughs> that is not what is happening. That is why I said the problem here is because it is Rock City. Because as I indicated earlier, they have ever privatized the hotels. And the private person couldn't manage and left. Okay? And you see, there's a political twist to all these things, that this thing that is going on. The political twist is that, and I will keep saying it, is because Brian is the one that owns Rock City. That is just the problem. So this is all about Brian? No, that, 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 that is what it is all about. Because if Senate has ever privatized and a private person came in, managed and couldn't and left. And this time around, they decided to do the same thing again. Foreign companies came. They did the valuation and everything. They put in their bid. Brian too did same. Or Rock City did same. And as I indicated, he was the only person who was given a better offer. A better offer does not. No, that, that is, is not. It's not the you only. Know, it's not the only requirement. You see, it for is you not to win unlawful. a bid. Let's I'm not begin. saying it's unlawful, yes. but I'm just so saying that. So what is the problem here? No, for the correction, I, I just want. So what so is the that, problem here? If so it is not unlawful, for, for viewers, what is the problem? For viewers that are watching, you know, this your, is all best, what we call sorry, political sorry, gimmicks. Your best bidding, we, we, we your best bidding, or the cost, or the payment, is not the only requirement for uh, winning a bid. So I let's know. not put out the I information know. as well. It is not the only, the only requirement. Yeah. But as a business person. And remember that Abla said a it business on this platform person. that you didn't have a, a, a tax certificate clearance at the point of bidding. And so on what basis? I remember, Which year? I remember um, at um, the point Randy at that point even asked the question. So are you, are you saying that at this point in time he didn't have the tax certificate? And so how did he actually no. when which year? they're bidding you see people are distorting the facts they will just put it out there without being so specific which year did he do the bidding and which year is it that he did not submit his tax returns that is the question and i i i, I would have i would love to hear him give a response to this question when did he put in the bid and when was it due for him to have his tax clearance that he didn't have these questions must be answered because from what I heard from uh, Mr. Brian himself, he said that this, it is only 2023 that he did not submit his tax clearance. It is only 2023. And even with the 2023, the deadline is not yet up. And that the records are there. They should go and check. You I am check. not saying you that... listen to the 2022... Which 2022? Then it means you didn't listen to the full submission. Full submission? You Wait, didn't listen to the full submission of her black car on screen. Did you listen to the tax clearance situation on, in 2022? And what happened in 2023? Are you sure you listened? I don't have a lot of time, so I, I don't want to copy I, the video. But you I, want us to play I the video. I did. I did and to the some extent. And the information you got is that he only I did, did I did to some extent. Okay. You see, so far, all that I'm saying, I'm saying it from what... The man himself, Mr. Brian, said, and I said, he said, so far it is only 2023 that he has not filed. And even that one, according to him, even that one, the time is not yet up for submission. As at the time he was making that video. And so I stand by what he says, because I'm not Rock City. And I don't have all the documents that they have. But from what he is saying, I am going to stand on what he said and say it here again. That according to Brian, he says that they have filed all their tax returns. And the only year that has not been filed is 2023. So let me read this to you for the purposes of time. So the Member of Parliament for North Town Constituency, Samuel Kujitaba Ablakwa, submitted a right to information RTA application to the Social Security and National Insurance Trust, SNIC, SNIC seeking information on Rock City's Tax Revenue uh, Authority GRE tax clearance certificates. According to the Ablakwa, Mr. Ablakwa, 
Rock City Hotel, owned by uh, Ghana's Minister for Food and Agriculture, Brian Champon, failed to file its tax returns for 2021-2022 when it participated in the bid to acquire a 60% of stake uh, in the in the four snit owned hotel. He argued that the, it, this in, contravenes the provisions of the Income Tax Act 2015, Act 896, as well as SNIT's pre qualification criteria. Sorry, who, who said this? Sorry. It's a report, it's a news report. A news on report. What has said. Yes. yes, on what he yes. said. Yes. That is why I'm saying that, that it, we it cannot failed to tax its uh, sorry file its re returns 2021 2022. That is what he uh, said. When the to, that's not what he said. That is the information he he uh, got from uh, GRE. GRE. Yes. That's the information he yes. got. Yes. I don't have that document, so I can't speak to it. Okay. Okay, that's fair. But I have what Mr. Bryan himself said, and that is what I will repeat here. Okay. That, you I know, mean that's fair. That's fair. I can't say, because I can also give you any document at all and say that he has mm. filed. Mm. But I won't say that. Because I am only going to say what the man himself said. And I stand by what he says. Mm. 